What's up everybody? Sebastian is back for a brand new YouTube video and in this video what I would like to be talking about is how social media can ruin your life if you aren't careful. How social media can become the biggest trap of your life where you compare one picture they say on Instagram with your whole life when you go on Facebook you can pay your whole life with everything you see and then you get depressed because your life doesn't live up to that okay so basically we're gonna be explaining the the dirty little secrets the mainstream doesn't want you to know about social media okay and it's like this video will kind of like open your minds a bit and so like kind of like disconnect yourself from social conditioning okay because I want you to be happy and like not get trapped into this illusion stuff okay so let's get started okay now let's rewind back when you were born, okay? You came into this world, okay? And you're a kid, okay? And you're allowed to go on YouTube, okay? So it's right there, okay? As a child, oh, here, you can I watch some YouTube, okay? And right there, you're like, as a kid, it's like, the kid believes everything, okay? So a kid will, will, will go on YouTube, okay? And look at... Uh, haunted monster attacking people at 3 a.m. in the forest, okay? So it's like the child goes and clicks on that video and watches it and gets really scared because he, he doesn't know the definition of real and fake and they're really naive, okay, he's a child and he's, whoa, this is real, okay? Like, from, from the kid's perspective, it's like, whoa, this is real, yeah, like, you know? And he can end watching them, watching them, watching them, a whole bunch of videos, think, whoa, this is real, this is fucking real, okay? Uh, and then, <laughs> as kids, you know, even teenagers, okay, we go up order, okay, we'd be, oh, this is real, so then, like, we go and look at pranks, okay, oh, Roman Atwood, uh, gold digger prank, um, witch versus homeless experiment, okay, um, and then it's like, <laughs> we spend hours on YouTube, hours, fucking hours, okay? And we believe, whoa, this is all real, okay? Now, it's like, here's the thing, here's the fucking thing, okay? Why do creators put clickbait? Really think about it. Why do people on YouTube put clickbait because the human brain clicks on it because we believe it's real all right so the creator who makes that video knows that people will watch it only if they clickbait it, okay? Look, here's the thing. You only see this here. The person who's filming the video. It's like you only see one part of their life. Behind this, you don't see behind the scenes 
okay? You do not see behind the scenes them setting up this whole scheme, okay? It's like a whole scheme, fake, okay? So, it's like, <laughs> and it's like for YouTubers who make these videos, okay? All these pranks and the haunted house stuff, okay? They get paid from, they get revenue, okay? What if a clickbait? So you click on it. Okay? Why is this all fake? And why are the creators that are making the video? They don't, they don't care if you watch the video or not. They don't care what you think of them. All they care is about the money. Okay? Look, and then you can check out also like other stuff like marketing. So it's like, as you know, in society, okay, when we go to, like, we need to work our ass off to earn money, okay? Like, every single day, um, go to a job, 9 to 5 job, get 10 euro per hour, okay? But online, Like someone can literally click, put a product, how to get 1 million euro in one month. Okay? And then it's like they, they use their marketing technique to get you to buy the product and get the money. Okay? And since they already recorded the one video, that video can serve thousands of millions of people and they can still live their life freely, okay? So it's like, that's like the thing about seeing on social media, it's like it meant, it, it's like <laughs> a big platform where it's like people just like think everything is real, okay? For example like <laughs> Yeah, you need to be careful, okay? And these people that are marketing, they know how to play with your own emotions. Okay, they're millionaires, okay? They know how to play your, with your own emotions just to get your money, okay? So, also something to be careful of here, okay? Uh, another thing is um, the news, okay? So it's like, you know, when you go on Facebook or BBC, CNN, okay, you only see the fucking bad news. Terrorist attack in Las Vegas. 500 people killed. Bang, you click that video. Why? Why do you click that fucking video? Because the title. Because the title. And then you compare. That one video. Oh, in Las Vegas, there was a fucking terrorist attack. I'm never going to go to America again because people shoot other people there. Just because of one fucking video doesn't mean it's all the fucking time. As you see, why right here social media is really, true, like, getting you in a bad mindset. Just because you see one video in Las Vegas, really think about it. Whether that shooting doesn't mean it's all around the world. Like you compare that five minute video of news with your whole life. Oh, I'm not even gonna go to America because I saw that bad news. And here's the thing. Society like wants you have a bad and negative view of the whole world. Okay, society doesn't want you to have this 10 out of 10 baseline. Society doesn't want you to be in abundance and happy, okay? So be careful of that, that that's also a trap to avoid, okay? So it's like, um, also it's like, why did they put b bad news? Because 
people like us read it. And they get money, the, the advertising company gets money for every click. Okay, they want they to put a video of good news like, oh, um, someone went outside and walked the dog today. No one will click on that video. People will click, 500 people killed in a terrorist attack. Oh, bam, okay. So be, be aware of that, okay. And then um, it's also, you know, be careful of like media. For example, like searching up advice on BuzzFeed, okay. For example, <laughs> um, it's like as we are younger, it's like we condition like, oh, the fairy tale your land. If I want a girl, she will just come into my life. Just have to do nothing and the perfect girl will come into my life. Okay, like the media is putting this image in us. And the media also puts the image in us like, um, oh, that person who, who achieved that goal, achieve it like that. You know what, you know to be successful and live your dream life. Just continue dreaming and you'll achieve it, okay? But what they, they fail to, to say here is that you need to take consistent fucking action to get the results you want. If you want a girlfriend, you need to go and approach that girl and get rejected. If you want to become successful, you, you need to commit to it for the long run, for a very, very, very long time. Okay, the media isn't saying that, okay? So why did I just now say that? So like that, you understand the next concept here about the media, okay? So for example, when you go and search up advice, okay? For example, um, advice, how, how do I get my ex back, okay? But let's you go on the media, okay, BuzzFeed, how to get. How do I get my ex back? Okay. And right here, the media will say, how to get your ex back? Step number one, be yourself. Step number two, be confident. Step number three, talk to her. Step number four, good luck. Okay? And you see that it's like, that didn't work, okay? This is like theory tale and you know the media. Trying to make you believe in what I uh, talked about before. But, like, to further this topic here, it's like, these sites, it's like, here's some good information that doesn't really go do anything, but at least you're on our website now so we can sell you the ads. Why does that work? Because it's us not being aware of these media outlets. Okay, so be careful, okay? They wouldn't use the seven steps to get your ex back clickbait if it wouldn't work, okay? Then for the media, like, if, if you would see a title, okay, that says, um, how to become a better person, improve yourself, Love yourself again and get your ex back. Never again. And find somewhere it's like no one will click on that title, okay? They will click on the title, how to get over your ex, the seven easy steps you can take today. Okay? Now, so that's Another thing what you need to be aware of, okay, scams you can fall into, okay. And then, um, also, what you also need to re realize here is that um, with like YouTube, okay, it's like when people record a video, okay, like from your point of view, okay, when you watch someone recording a video, it's like, wow, they're always happy. Wow, 
Still life is amazing, okay? It's like, don't be too quick to compare yourself, your whole life with this one person. For example, when now you're watching this video, I don't want you to now compare your whole fucking life with this video, okay? It's like that's or something to be aware of, okay? Um, another thing is, yeah, so be ca also be careful of like, you know, for example, let's say for example, you see some, a vlogger vlog to Hawaii. What's up everybody, we're in Hawaii now, one week later. What's up everybody, we're in Dubai, one week later. What's up everybody, I have a girlfriend now, okay. Be, be careful not to get too fast to judge, okay. They might be faking it, okay. They might be, they might for example, be in Dubai, Hawaii, okay? But don't be too quick to judge, it's like, whoa, they're in Hawaii and Dubai and look at me, at home, not much money, okay? It's like, start thinking behind the scenes that they work so hard to get with they. Oh, okay? And it's like, <laughs> there was this YouTuber called McJuggernuggets, he created a, this, something called a Psycho Series and people thought it was all real in reality when in reality it was all fake okay so I'll leave a link of that in the description so you can check it out and it's like that goes to show like how how quickly you can fall into this social media trap okay and I fell into that okay and then I was whoa this is so this is fake whoa shit okay so it's like be careful it's like a life on the camera versus a life off the camera is two different things, okay? So it's like, um, so he created this psycho series where he destroyed stuff and his dad was really psycho and it's like everyone thought was real. But in reality, it was just characters. When the, the camera's on, boom, the one character, when the camera's off, there's someone else. Okay, so you will also be aware of that, okay? Um, now, you also want to be careful of Instagram, okay? When you see someone, oh, uh, with their girlfriend, always happy, chick, boom, they, they filter the picture, and it's like, try to not compare your whole life with that one picture. Okay, they aren't always happy. They the way you don't see that they're constantly depressed, constantly feel down, constantly feel that there's no hope, constantly feel disconnected, constantly feel like nothing works for them. And they also have the fear in the back of their mind that nothing will work for them. Okay? So it's like remember like that one picture, it's like remember they're also humans, okay? It's like, you want to open your mind a bit more, they're also humans. They're not always happy, like, like, when someone says, oh, always happy, no. It doesn't mean they're always happy, man. They also cry. Off, off the camera, they cry. Okay? So be aware of that, okay? Um, and also, you also want to be aware of, like, emails and other scams so for example like um like be be aware of scammers okay that want your money it's like they might act really nice oh you know what you can bro we make really good deals blah blah and ask you for your money but in reality it's fake okay for example like someone can send you fake pictures, white, white no matter what, type no matter what, and send it to you, and when reality it's all a scam, okay, so be aware of that, which I got scammed by a family in Miami, like I wanted to become an au pair, okay, and I saw on Facebook that this family looks good, I saw an ad on Facebook, okay, so that I started to message them on the email, and long story short, 
uh, they asked me all questions, I answered all the questions, I printed out the, um, the forms, okay? And I realized that the email they, they sent the representative of the agency didn't match with the real agency, okay? And I'm like, shit, this is all a scam, okay? And I realized, whoa, shit! Okay, like, whoa, be careful of the internet, like, be careful what, what you believe, you know? And it's like, I, I asked, boom, can we video call? They didn't want a video call, you know, and it's like, well, whoa, this is all a scam, okay? Um, now, I can go more into detail in the next video about the scam, this au pair scam of how it happened, etc, 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 and how to avoid it. But it's like, it's like basically as inclusion, Okay, be careful, be careful what you see on social media, don't believe everything, uh, view the big picture of it, notice that we're 7 billion people on this planet, uh, be careful what you believe and see on YouTube, everything can be edited out perfectly, um, be careful what you see on Instagram, Facebook, Etc. 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 Okay. For example, like, and even now this video, it's like um, you're now like seeing me, and it's like, whoa, Sebastian is in a relaxed mood, ready for the day. You know, we really hyped and energized. Okay, you might think that. Okay, right now, but we are. I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> you, it's, you see, it's like, when you're watching, you don't even know what time it is now at my place. You don't know how my bedroom looks like. You might be thinking, oh, Sebastian's bedroom is really clean. In reality, nope. Okay. See? So it's like, you know, it's not seeing the honest scene, it's like, you might be, oh! Whoa! Sebastian has big... must work out every single day. Reality, I didn't work out every single day. You know? Start seeing behind the scenes. Everything, okay? If that makes any sense. So, I hope you enjoyed my YouTube video. Feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you enjoyed. And 